excuse me. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, this is the election. My, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. And this is my, ah! Hey, everybody. So, anyways, in this video, ah! So, basically, this, this map shows, ah! I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, anyways, ah! <laughs> I'm just joking, but anyways, <laughs> okay, I'll actually stop, okay, I'm actually stopping, I'm not lying, I promise, I will, I will stop now, anyways, this is the 2020 election in the battleground states, as you can see, we can see that dark, dark, uh, blue means that it went for Biden by 5 to 15 points, for example, Colorado went to Biden by 13 points, Minnesota went to Biden by 7 points. Well, Colorado went to Biden by 13 points. Minnesota went to Biden by 7 points. And Virginia went to Biden by 10 points. And if you notice right here, this place, this little place right here, this isn't actually a state. This is actually just uh, a little area of uh, that I made up. It's called Franklin District. Or Franklin, I'm just making it my own state. It's called Franklin, and that I I actually calculated the the map of these counties right here. Uh, this county, 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 which I'll give you a hint. I live in one of these counties. I live in one of these counties, but I combined those counties, the uh, 2020 election results, and Biden won. By exactly 8.7%. So this is how I did it. I went to your average day. Average day election result thing. Election results. I spelled election results wrong. But that's okay. And what I did. Was. Add. This state. All, all these counties together. This To be exact. I added, I added Wyandotte County. Crawford County. Marion County, Moreau County, Delaware County, Franklin County, Licking County, Knox County, and Richland County. I added all the Trump votes in those in those counties together and combined them, and added all the Biden votes in those counties and combined them. And here is the final results: Biden got fifty four point three percent, and Trump got forty five point six percent. Now you're now you're probably wondering. If the map, if, hold on, let me do it in a better thing for you. If the map looks like this, hold on, you're probably thinking, why it? If the, if the map looks like this, and it's mostly Republican in these counties, and most of these counties are Republican, then why isn't it going Republican by a lot? Why is it going Democrat by 8.7? And that's because this county right here, the only Democrat county in all these counties combined, has the most population and it has the most voters and it has way way more votes than any of these counties do and they have way more population so if you add all these counties up the trump votes and biden votes biden takes the cake in these counties aka my made-up state called franklin so this is franklin right here this little thing right here franklin and that's my home state right there it's made up home state but yeah that's Franklin right here, this little area right here. As you can see, it went for Biden in the 5 to 15 point percentage point margin area. And if you want to get the exact details, I've said it 50,000 times. Biden won this by 8.7%, almost 9%. <coughs> so let's take a look at others. Oh my god, my throat hurts so bad. The only state, or two only states, there's only two states that actually Biden did better in, in these battleground states. And that's Colorado, where Biden won it by 13 points. <laughs> <coughs> and then there's Virginia, where Biden won it by 10 points. So that's a lot, that's a little bit bigger than 8.7 points that my home state of Franklin, my made up home state of Franklin did. But on the second note, Franklin, my made-up state, is got is actually Biden won that state by a bigger margin than most of these states. 
And that's really surprising because Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, Iowa, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. All those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All of those twelve states voted to the right of my made up state of Franklin. Only two, Colorado, oops. Colorado and Virginia. Only two, Colorado and Virginia, voted to the left. So that means uh, Franklin is a very heavily Democrat state. Now let's take a look at places that are not necessarily battlegrounds, but they can kind of be considered as battlegrounds. And the only state like that is mostly New Mexico. Now let's look at the election results in New Mexico. <coughs> so, my stupid, hold on, my Alexa's playing. Hey Alexa, cancel. I didn't even say Alexa the first time and it did it. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. Here's the presidential election results in the 2020 election in New Mexico. Biden won the state by 10.8%, almost 11%. So that's only 2% off from the margin. Wait, hold on. That's only 2% off from Franklin's margin. So, Biden won Franklin by around 9 points. We'll just round it up and it's 9 points. Biden won New Mexico. We'll round that up and that's 11 points. That's only a 2 point difference. That's only a 2 point difference. And Franklin is considered a battleground state. And New Mexico is not. Let's take a look at the 2016 election. Hillary Clinton won the state of New Mexico by 8.2%. Now, I didn't record the results of Franklin in the 2016 election because I because uh, I didn't uh, calculate it yet, but I'm going to soon, maybe. Well, now that I think about it, I probably won't because it's kind of a lot of work because you actually have to take every county you want to combine together and you have to, like, type it in. And then you have to add it all together and do it with the other party. And the yeah, it's just so hard. So this was this took time to do this uh, made up state of Franklin and how it voted. This isn't made up results. This is actually results and how these counties would have voted if they were one state combined it. And as we can see, I live in a Democrat made up state called. Franklin. Let's take a little bit closer look at the other states, though. Georgia was the closest state out of all these states. Georgia was. The highest state was Colorado. The highest state out of all these states in 2016 was, nope, nope, not Colorado. It was actually Virginia. Let's take a look at that again. In 2016, Hillary Clinton won the state by five points, more than any other battleground state. Hillary Clinton did the be best job in Virginia than any other battleground state. But in 2020, Hillary, uh, Joe Biden, a Democrat, did uh, the best out of any other battleground state in this one. Who did the second best? Well, I've been over this, but I'm going to say it again. Virginia. Vir uh, Biden did the second best in Virginia. Who did the third best? I said this once again, but I'm going to say it again. Franklin, my made-up made it my made up state Biden did the be the third best in out of all these battleground states what did Trump do the bu best in he did the best in Iowa which can be very shocking to most people because uh, Trump won it by freaking eight points and I'm like did he really win it by eight points I'm like 
it just so amazes me how this state voted. It, it was such a Democrat state for so long until the idiot Trump got on the ballot and then they decided to be stupid and vote for him, which is very dumb, but they they're stupid. So they vote for him. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. I, I honestly don't believe Iowa voted that much Republican. I think. Uh, I think Trump stole some of the Biden voters and rigged it, just like Biden's, just just like uh, Trump says about Biden. Trump says Biden rigged it. Well, Trump's the one who actually rigged Iowa. I don't think Trump really won Iowa. I think Biden won I Iowa, but uh, but uh, Trump can make all these claims and all these fraudulent claims saying there was fraud when there really wasn't fraud in any of these states Biden won. But Iowa, I think, is a very good state to look at to see if there was fraud because I definitely don't think that Trump won the state by eight points. Do you really think it? he won it by eight points? Do you really? I mean, really think about it. Do you really think Trump won the state by eight points after Barack Obama won it uh, twice by a very big margin and George Bush won it by a very slim margin and Al Gore won it by a slim margin and uh, Michael Dukakis, a Democrat, won it by a big margin and Bill Clinton won it by a big margin? Do you really think that Iowa went for Trump by eight points? That's just – and then it's just so, – it doesn't make any sense. Another state I'd like to look at is Florida. I don't think Florida went for Trump at all. I think Trump stole the election in Florida from Biden. I think Biden should have won Florida. I really think he should. North Carolina, same thing. Texas, I think I think Trump probably did win Texas. But this is how I think the election actually went. Uh, I think... That these states, wait, hold on. I'm just going to do it in the battleground states. I think Biden almost won every single battleground state in reality. This is how I think the election went. There is no way, there is no way Trump won Florida, Iowa, and, was, and North Carolina. There's no way. This is how I think the election went when it comes to real election results. I think the only battleground state, uh, actually, I'm going to consider these two states as a battleground state, too. I think the only battleground state that, the only three battleground states that Trump legitimately won, legitimately won is Indiana, Missouri, and, and uh, Texas. This is how I think the margins went. I think Minnesota was safe. It, it just was. Colorado was probably likely. Same with Nevada. Uh, Ohio was lean. Uh, Michigan was this. I'll just do the map for you. This is how I think the ele election actually went. This is how I think the election actually went. Like this. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, since uh, Trump's saying there was fraud and everything like that, I'm going to start saying there's fraud too, but not on his side. I'm going to say uh, Trump stole the Biden or Trump stole the states that should have went for Biden. Trump stole Ohio. It's 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 obvious that Trump stole Ohio from Biden. Trump stole it. He rigged it. He took ballots and threw it out in Ohio. Trump did to Biden's votes. So this is how I think the election went. I think this is how the uh, national election went. I think almost all these states were safe. This is how I think the real election went. Might like this. There we go. Hold on.
hold on a second. This is the election results right here. This is the 2020 election results right here. Right here it is. Here it is. Joe Biden. Democrat. Donald. Trump. Trump. Republican. There we go. This is how I think the election really went. I think Biden 100% won Ohio. I think Biden 100% won Iowa. I think Biden 100% won North Carolina. I think Biden 100% won Florida. I think Biden, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, that's, that's basically the election. I 100%, 150% think that, uh, Biden won Iowa. I mean, Trump, Trump says he won Iowa and they called it, they supposedly called it for Trump. Trump didn't win Iowa. Are you freaking serious? Iowa went Democrat for a whole bunch of years. What are the odds that it's going to vote for uh, a Republican when the worst Republican poss ever r runs? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, screw it. This is the margin now. That's the margin. This is how the election really went. Peace.